Some evidence suggests that amyloid removal slows disease progression in Alzheimer's disease. In a phase 2b trial, the monoclonal antibody lecanemab, which binds with soluble amyloid beta protofibrils, was associated with clearance of amyloid in patients with early Alzheimer's disease. In this phase 3 multicenter double-blind randomized placebo-controlled trial, 1,795 adults 50 to 90 years of age with early Alzheimer's disease were assigned to receive intravenous lecanemab at a dose of 10 mg per kilogram every two weeks, or placebo. The primary efficacy endpoint was the change from baseline in the score on the clinical dementia rating sum of boxes, a validated measure of cognition and function in Alzheimer's disease, assessing six domains that patients and caregivers identify as important. At 18 months, mean scores on this measure were higher than baseline, indicating increased impairment in both groups. The mean change in the score was smaller in the lecanemab group, indicating less cognitive and functional decline. Secondary endpoints, including scores on other Alzheimer's disease rating scales, also suggested less disease progression in the lecanemab group. The most common adverse events in the lecanemab group included infusion-related reactions and amyloid-related imaging abnormalities. The authors conclude that in adults with early Alzheimer's disease, Lecanemab was associated with less disease progression than placebo over 18 months. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.